my traders uh, another week down and that takes us to the close of the 5th of March which is the close of, of this week's trading so I've just had a, a fair few requests to, to take you through the actual how you track the trades now look we've got a preferred broker who we use which we're familiar with and how they do their day-to-day -day, uh, options values so to, to give you an idea like if you have a hundred thousand dollar account it's you're well within your margin requirements for most brokers um, so I'll just give you an idea of how to track that with the with the tools that you get when you buy the system so we've got the portfolio tracker which so this this is tracked from the start of this year so we've been tracking this on a daily occurrence as the trades go in and out we uh, we track the trades and we add our options trades in there as well so our first options trade for, for the year was, was set on this this buy this long trade here on the 4th of January now we set that trade the option spread which gave us 222550 and that was due to expire on the 20th of Feb so what we do is we trade the futures in between that in case the market takes a drastic sell off all along and you know traditionally you'd blow your options account up if that's the case without your protection so we take that down to the 20, uh, 20th of February so on the 20th of February we uh, were out of that options trade so then we can't set another trade until we set up into a new long or a short so a new futures trade so we get that long here on the 23rd of Feb so now that's our second trade option spread that we have on that's live now at the moment and you can see the the calls and, and puts like in a sort of a snapshot here this is where they are so the red lines your calls and your blue lines your puts so at the moment we're sort of floating up towards our calls which is you know not what we want it to do but that means we're making money on the way up so we've made a 21 point move on the way up and now we've made another move up which is in profit say three thousand dollars on a hundred thousand dollar account so just to give you an idea of how that hedge works uh, in case the market moves against you in a, in a large way so we'll just uh, we'll mark up the last a couple of days to give you an idea how the the tracker works for, for those that are just inquiring so our previous long trade which is 21 points it, it was way back uh, you'll see that how that's moved so that's this move here that's moved all the way up from the 23rd of Feb there's the entry there and we move all the way up straight up through here and we stop out about in this area here so I'll just uh, widen that again and we'll go back and uh, have a look at how we actually track that so that's uh, moved all the way to here okay so that's stopped out here right so we had our entry which is down here somewhere and it stopped out there so we're, we're moving a stop up as we go so we have that stop in the uh, in the spreadsheet and that's here uh, 11 17 75 we'll just double check that that's the stop there, 11, 17, 80. Yeah, it's about, it was about 75 when we when we stopped out. So at that stage, we're looking for a new trade. So that means either a green cross to go long or a red cross to go short. Now, all this futures hedging does is protect your options. So you're just going long or short in case the market really moves hard 100 points and blows your options up. So that way you're making money on the futures. So it doesn't matter. So we get a short entry here, which is in the pre-US session so that triggers so we've got to take that so a short entry of uh, uh, we have taken this I just haven't updated the spreadsheet so 11 14 50 is the entry and that was on the 3rd of March so 11 14 50 yep 11 14 50 was the short that's the 3rd of March and the time was I work on the exchange time so that was it. it. I go from the last cross as well, just so it gives me an idea. So 2154 gives me an idea when it when it's uh, put its indicator up. 2154. Now that's pretty much stopped out straight away, uh, and we get out there 112150. So the calculator gives you all the stops and the entry. So see the short stop. We're in a short trade here. So that's the short entry. There it is there on that red cross. Now the stop is now the yellow dot, so the stop is the short stop, so 11.21.50. So we put that in there as well, so that gives us a running tally, 11.21.5. And you just drag down the, the cell to gra drag the formula down, so that gives you a negative value there. So that's maximum loss you'll ever have is 7.25 points, 7.5, so that's, 
that's the max risk per trade. So then we're looking for another trade, we stopped out of that. See how the indicator like moves up with the moving averages, so you don't get in any of these trades, it has to pierce through the green or pierce through the red to get in a trade. So it's just chopped around that 11.20 level. And now we get our we get our new set, uh, buy here on on this on this cross. So that's uh, on the 5th of March at 2:37. 5th of March 2:37. Five three at 2:37 a.m. Now that's a buy entry. So the entry is on the you put your your cursor on the green cross which is there, and it throws your entry up on the calculator. 11:25 flat. So we're in there at 11:25. 11.25 or I actually went in 11.25.25 just to get around that whole number and you can do that sometimes they bounce off whole numbers so I'm happy to give up 0.25 of a point just to stay out of a trade in case it's going to bounce back before it makes its push up so 11.25.25 so then all we're doing is we're dragging a stop up as a yellow line so as the yellow dots uh, keep printing so we're at break even when the red line hits the green line so we continue up and then we're in profit. At the moment, we've got a current stop at 11.28.75. 11.28.75. Now that that's a current trade, so that that's a live trade. So we'll just say live trade, so you know it's still open. So it still gives us our yearly uh, percentage. Now every broker is different with. Uh, with your your brokerage, so I work on average of five in five out. You know that that's around about the, the medium. So you can add up your futures trade your futures trades if you like. So it's uh, forty seven trades. So it's about minus four hundred and seventy dollars off off the actual off the total. So it's going to be you know seven percent minus your brokerage. You might be down about four to five percent for the year. So. That gives you an idea of where we're at. So we're heading into the weekend in a long position with our stop at 11.28.75. So again, you've got another 13 days for the uh, March special for the half price for the system. So you're saving about $5,000 if you're getting it within this next within the next 13 days. So uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, enjoy the weekend, and I'll catch up again Monday.